Today I wanted to do a quick video just showing um, how to repair a flat tire on your wheelchair. Um, odds are, if you're, if you're a wheelchair user, eventually you're going to have a flat tire. Um, this is a tire that I've already deflated. I'm actually taking off the push rim, uh, this push rim guard, but I figured I'd do a video just uh, it's pretty much the same process if you have to replace the flat. So what you're going to need are uh, these uh, tire lovers. You can get these at any bicycle store because um, essentially a wheelchair tire is just a bicycle tire with a push rim. Um, these are very, very cheap. I think you can get these for like less than five dollars. Um, another thing you would want to get is just a, a spare inner tube. Um, I always keep a spare inner tube just in case I ever have a flat tire. I think it's a little easier to just replace it with one that you know is not going to leak rather than trying to repair um, an inner tube that is punctured. Um, of course, you can do that if you're in a tight, you know, tight squeeze, but I personally like to just replace it all together. So what you want to do is um, the tire lever you're going to take at the opposite end of the valve stem, um, and then you're just going to kind of wedge it up under the top, and then these are designed to actually hook onto the spoke, so you can kind of work your way around getting the tire off. So you kind of pull that down, hook it around the spoke. And then what I like to do, just because I think it makes it a little bit easier, these Marathon Plus tires are a lot stiffer than a typical bike tire. So I, I just like to kind of use some kind of lubrication to kind of lube it up. Um, what you're gonna do is work your way around with one of the other tire levers and just kind of pull along this edge till it works all the way around. And one note, um, you're actually starting on the back of the uh, wheelchair tire. You wouldn't want to do it on the front because the push rooms on the front, it would get in the way. Um, so I just kind of stick this in here. And like I said, it's not, it's not exactly the easiest thing to get started. There we go. I'm kind of working my way around. All right, so now at this point, it's real easy. You can just slip this all the way around the wheel. Okay, so we've got that back part off. Um, if you were replacing an inner tube, technically you could just kind of stay where you're at right now, pull the inner tube out. I'm gonna end up getting this wheel or this tire all the way off the wheel. Uh, which is actually kind of a good idea because if you have something in your tire that punctured the inner tube, it's kind of a good idea to take the tire off anyway and just feel around the inside of the tire to see uh, if, you know, you don't want to put a brand new inner tube in it if it's just going to pop as soon as you put it back on. So I'm going to pull this inner tube out. Okay. Now if you were going to repair this uh, inner tube, um, you would obviously just want to fill it up with a little bit of air. I have a tire pump um, that just plugs into the wall. You can also use one that actually pumps up. Um, I've got an example, like this is a little uh, spare tire patch kit. It comes with patches. Um, it also comes with, if you were out in the middle of nowhere and you didn't have access to a tire pump, it comes with this little uh, CO2 cartridge that you can screw into this thing, and once you get this patched, you can actually just fill up the tire with this. Um, I'll take this on, you know, vacation with me. Um, you know, a lot of the times you would be in a situation where you wouldn't actually have a tire pump. So, at this point, um, basically taking off the rest of the tire is gonna be very similar. You're just gonna kinda have to pry it off and work your way around. Again, these tires are a lot stiffer than a typical bicycle tire. The reason for that is, is they're supposed to be puncture resistant. Um, but I mean, even with a puncture resistant tire, you still have the chance to get a flat tire. So yeah, at this point, if you were replacing, or if you were fixing a flat, you would just kind of want to feel around on the inside of the tire to see, you know, if you've got a little piece of metal sticking through, 
Um, if it's something that just went in the tire and came right back out, obviously there's not going to be anything there. But you definitely want to check that before you go and waste your money uh, puncturing a new inner tube. All right, so you're getting ready to put on your new inner tube. Um, the best bet is just to air it up with a little bit of air. That way it just uh, isn't real floppy. It kind of forms to the, the shape of the tire before you put it on. So just take the tire pump, just put a little bit of air in it. And again, you don't want it real um, pumped up. You just want it to hold its shape. So then you're going to put this inside the tire. And what I like to do, um, the labels on this tire, uh, I like to kind of line up with the uh, labels that are on the wheel itself. Um, so what I typically do is I will put the valve stem right on this Schwabi label um, and that just kind of makes sure that they'll be lined up correctly. So you'll put this inside the tire. Just kind of work it around. Now you're pretty much ready to pop it on. So obviously you need to find the hole for the, for the valve stem and pop that in first. If it'll go through. All right. And you're just going to, you're putting the back bead on first, kind of like how we took it off. Uh, you're doing one at a time. So you're just working it away around just that back part of the tire. Okay, so at this point we've got the back one on. Now we just gotta get the front one on. So we wanna make sure we tuck that tire into the wheel as much as possible. The trick is to not puncture your brand new inner tube <laughs> right before you put, you know, get it on there. I'm gonna let a little bit of air out of this, I think. So it's a little more pliable. But really, you just want to start um, kind of working your way around the wheel. All right, so just like taking it off, this last little part, is going to be kind of a pain in the butt to get on. Just kind of spray it down. And this just kind of helps slide that back underneath the lip where you need it to be. So what I like to do is kind of hold it at one end, wedge this up under, and just kind of slide it the rest of the way around. Almost there. All right, so that's about as hard as that part gets. Um, kind of a pain in the butt, but it is doable. Again, this is a lot easier than rolling around on a flat tire for, you know, two days before you can get it to the shop. Um, one thing to keep in mind, I wanted to mention, this is basically a bike tire, so you don't necessarily have to take it to get fixed. If you don't want to do this, uh, you can take it to any bike shop. They can put a new tire or a new inner tube in it. Don't feel like you have to, you know, take it to the medical supply store to get repaired. If you want it covered by insurance, you probably got to do that. But um, for about seven bucks, I know you can get an inner tube. I've done it before. So at this point, you just want to fill it up. What I like to do is not fill it up all the way right at first. Um, the reason being is I, I want to put the axle back in and just spin it because you want to make sure the tire is seated correctly on the wheel. You don't want it hopping up and down uh, in a certain location because sometimes, you know, this part will be wedged in a lot deeper than this part. So as you'd be wheeling down the street, um, it'd be hopping up and down 
as I'm spinning this one, uh, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. So I can just finish uh, airing it up the rest of the way. Um, for these tires, I like to use, I usually put about 100 PSI in them. I think they are uh, up to 145 PSI, which is a lot of pressure. Um, but I think, you know, it's a little bit better to, for me, go a little bit lower so it's not real rock hard uh, of a tire. Um, and you've all seen how to air up a tire before, so I'm not going to take you through that. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks a lot.